Hello everybody, it is me again, I am back. I am Stitch by Stitch Crochet, my name is Maddie, and I am cleaning this room today. I am cleaning it today, I swear, I swear I'm gonna get it done today. I have to, I have to, I have to. I've been saying that I needed to clean out this room and organize it and make it into a dedicated craft space for weeks, ever since we got that sofa that we put into our living room, because this used to be like a multi-purpose room we used to like hang out in here and sit on our chairs after work and just relax in here. There used to be a TV right there on my desk where we'd sometimes play Xbox. But that was only because we didn't have a sofa to put in our living room. We, it's a long story. We never had a sofa. We just didn't buy one. Um, but we do have one now. We got one off Facebook Marketplace um, and I set that up in a couple videos ago. And I said I needed to reorganize this room and make it into like a dedicated craft area. And I haven't, and I've barely done anything to this room since then. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do today. I've got a, a bunch of clothes sprawled across this whole room that I think honestly is gonna be the bulk of the organizing today, which I'm hoping isn't gonna take too long. Um, today's Tuesday. I'm just, I'm just not gonna have time to go to my knitting club today. I'm just not. It's almost one o'clock already. I haven't started on this room yet, and I still have to clean a little bit and get dinner prepared. I just want, I just, I'm just gonna have to miss it today. That was the sacrifice that I decided to make when I didn't get out of bed until 10 o'clock this morning. Okay, so no knitting club today. <laughs> Boo. But hopefully we're gonna have a really nice functional room after this because. I really want a nice space to take pictures for my all of my products and stuff so I can put them on my website and on social media like super easily and all of my photos look really nice as opposed to like how I'm doing it right now which is trying to find a good wall to take it uh, the picture against but then the wall doesn't look good and then there's stuff that I have to crop out and it's just not cute. I want to have a dedicated wall with good lighting to take photos and I think this wall um, behind this dresser is a really nice wall because there's a window right there that is lit for most of the day. Organize this room then slowly step by step I will be able to start decorating it. Um, cover the walls with crochet art pieces and wall decals and posters of Chapel Roan and I maybe move my record player in here because I mean I'm not sure because I like listening to my records and I would like to listen to them more often when I'm crocheting as opposed to just listening to YouTube while I'm crocheting and then I can actually listen to my records but sometimes I like to listen to records while we're having dinner too so it's nice having it out in the living room where we where we have dinner um but we don't, but we haven't been doing that very often ever since we got a TV in there. Um, so let me show you what's going on in here. Okay, you are in the doorway to this room, um, facing, pointing into this room. Here's a rack full of my clothes. Um, this was originally a rack that I had dedicated just for my crochet clothes. Um, then it slowly but surely just kind of morphed into a crochet rack and my regular clothes rack. Uh, so I'd like to get that organized again. And these cushions are my dog's bed. These are the sofa cushions to the couch that we used to have that did not fit into the doorway of this house. So we just took the cushions off and now it's a dog bed. Here's what the room looks like from here. Right there is where I was just filming. There's the window in question. Here's the wall that I want to have everything on. Or have nothing on. I want nothing on that wall. So it's bare. Just my mannequin. And maybe a chair so I can film videos there. All of this stuff I have to clean off. Oh, here's my coffee. All of these clothes, which most of these are clean. Thank God. I just haven't had time to organize them and put them away. And then there's my craft cart behind there with some old projects, some old whips that I've forgotten about. I'll have to go through that again. Um, and then over on this corner, I've shown you this corner before. <laughs> 
I've shown you this corner before and it's gotten worse slash stayed the same. I haven't really made a lot of progress on this wall, or on this corner. And then here's my desk right here, full of stuff. And that bin right there has all of my um, products in it that I like to take to my art market to sell. And some stuff over here, my craft backpack, my knitting machine. Um, yeah. So that's what I'm going to be doing today instead of going to Knitting Club. Because I really, really have to get this room clean. I've been procrastinating doing it for a lot of weeks. It's time. Um, okay. I think the first course of action is going to be... I need to fold everything that needs folded and put everything on a hanger that needs to be on a hanger. Most of this stuff right here in this chair is clean and folded. But there are a few things that need to go on hangers. And I think the reason that I haven't done it yet is because I've been having trouble finding hangers. So let me find some. I found this many. gonna reorganize this rack but just for right now I'm gonna put all of my hanger stuff on here just so it's off the floor and it's nice and excessively visible my chair again that's good I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to work towards moving that dresser out of here which means clearing off all the stuff on the top reorganizing all of that stuff taking the drawers out and finding a place for the dresser to go where am I gonna put it I made a spot in a corner of my bedroom for the dresser to go so let's just start cleaning this off. I have a lot of stuff up here that I don't know what to do with, like a lot of junk and stuff. I made a matching sock though. Well, okay. All of my stuff for sewing can go into this box. Um, so like my pins and thread, like embroidery floss and stuff. That can go in here. Some of this stuff is trash. <gasps> I found something that I've been looking for. I can't show you what it is though. I found my Penelope. I found it. <laughs> Sounds like it still has some battery left and is heating up. <sighs> That's nice that I found that. Yay, I've been looking for that for a while. Okay, and then, oh, there are these things. There are these things that um, are a little dusty. <laughs> then there are these things that help me look down at my hands while I'm crocheting that I haven't used in a while because they've been in here probably. Mm, well, you know what? Because I was thinking about making like um, one of those sunglasses cases for these, but I, I think it would be a little hard because they've got like these things that stick out and also because there's glass in these, I wouldn't want to break it if I put it in like my crafting backpack. Trash, more trash. Some of this up here is my husband's stuff, like this I think he uses for boxing and these are his work pencils. There's like some screws and nails up here that I don't know what to do with. Oh, here's some Neosporin. I need that sometimes. Let me go put that in the bathroom. Oh, you know what I want to do? I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to it in this video. Probably not. Definitely not. 
what I want to do, because I have like a full set of Tunisian crochet hooks. I have like all of the sizes in different lengths. Like I have these ones that are aluminum all the way through and they're just, I don't know, like eight inches long. But then I have some Tunisian crochet hooks that have um, like plastic cords at the end of it, kind of like a knitting needle would, um, but they're a few feet long or like, yeah, a couple feet long. And so you can make something really wide with Tunisian crochet and I have like a full set of those too. And then I also have a full set of bamboo knitting needles circular knitting needles and I've also got double pointed needles and um, so basically what I want to do is I want to <clears throat> probably sew I don't want to I could crochet one but that would take too long and I just I want to save my crochet time for things that I am gonna like wear but basically I want to make something that I can hang on my wall it's just like a little sheet of fabric with pockets in it um so that I just have like all of my sets of stuff a few of those but I don't know how to do it I don't know how to do it I have an idea in my head and it seems pretty easy in my head but I'm not very advanced I'm not advanced at all I'm still a beginner I would I would consider myself on my sewing machine so I just need to get enough fabric for it which I don't know if I have and I think I, I don't want to do just white like white bed sheet so I might have to go and maybe thrift some fabric if I can or just buy like some fat quarters from Walmart because I have those or maybe maybe just like a yard or two of fabric uh, I'm not sure and I really like May crochets she does a lot of Tunisian crochet and she's got a few Tunisian crochet patterns for really cute stuff so I might have to make one of her things this is sewing stuff, this is sewing stuff. These things can go in the bathroom, some bobby pins, a hair tie, some perfume, another hair tie, a bandana. Okay, this is not mine. This is my coffee, it can go in the kitchen when I'm done with it. Kind of doesn't taste very good at the bottom. Yeah. Okay, and then the lamp, which is the last thing, which stays in here. Should I use this pledge? Because it's not really wood, it's painted wood. I'm gonna do it anyway, because it smells like lemon. We move it. Now we move it. Yeah, for sure. Ow! Okay, but these top two aren't coming out. I don't know why. Why are these different than the bottom ones? Um, uh, well, okay, the floor isn't really even in there, so I can't scooch it up against the wall as much as I want to, but that's a problem for my husband to figure out when I get home, or when he gets home. So. Okay, now time to bring in my lady.
here she is in her rightful place. Right against a blank, nicely lit wall in all her glory in the spotlight as it should be. There we go. I raised the camera up a little bit. Okay. So, I have this wall clear. Let me put my chair here. She can go there. I think I'm going to close this door. My chair there. And then my basket can get moved right there. Once I clear out that space, that space right there next to my desk, that basket can go right there. Let me do that right now, I guess. There's no point in saying I'll do it later when I can do it now. I don't know where to put all this stuff. I'll come back to this later. It's almost done, but not totally done. But right now, I have to deal with this corner of the room that I've um, messed up cleaning this side of the room. <laughs> a few hours later um, I was charging my camera and I also stopped to make bread and wash dishes um, I really would like to get this done today I feel like I'm almost done I just have to clean up the stuff on the floor like it's just a lot of unfinished projects and stuff and I'm really overwhelmed <laughs>